Hi, I'm Rachel Deer. I'm a medical oncologist and I specialise in the treatment of breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is a subtype of breast cancer. There are three main types of breast cancer defined by three different receptors on a cancer cell, the estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor and HER2 receptor. So triple negative breast cancer is when all three of those things are not present. So it's almost like a definition of exclusion as opposed to what it really is. Triple negative breast cancer is perceived to be the most aggressive type of breast cancer because it lacks the target of hormone receptor positive or HER2 positive breast cancer where we have specific targeted treatments that have proven benefits to help women with metastatic disease live longer. So historically HER2 positive breast cancer was the most aggressive breast cancer even with a worse prognosis than triple negative breast cancer. But now we have all these amazing drugs that target that pathway and now HER2 positive breast cancer that's metastatic has the best prognosis out of the three main types of breast cancer. So we really need to do the same in triple negative breast cancer. But triple negative breast cancer, we don't have that specific target. So we have to be more generic in our approach. Triple negative breast cancer is not very common. It makes up about 15 to 20% of all breast cancer diagnoses. It's still a disease that's more common as you get older, so we still see it in that more common age group that affects breast cancer, so women in their 60s, but proportionally a higher a group will be younger, which is often very challenging, and they would tend to be the group that has an inherited mutation, predisposing them to get triple negative breast cancer. Early triple negative breast cancer means a cancer is confined to the breast and the lymph nodes under the armpit and our goal is to eradicate that cancer and achieve good long-term outcomes for patients where there's no recurrence of breast cancer. So for that type of breast cancer we tend to give chemotherapy plus immunotherapy before surgery and then a woman will have breast surgery and then complete usually immunotherapy. Sometimes if there's still cancer left at the surgery, we'll give a bit more chemo, usually for about six months. The immunotherapy part of the regimen is a, a new part of the story, something that we've been recently able to access, but it really does improve outcomes for these women, increasing the rates of what we call a complete pathological response at surgery where there's no cancer cells left. On the other hand, if it's a metastatic triple negative breast cancer where the cancer cells have gone somewhere else in the body, we don't use surgery, we don't use radiotherapy, we use drug treatments. And we have very good drug treatments for metastatic triple negative breast cancer. In fact, chemotherapy and immunotherapy would be part of the treatment regimen to start with. In terms of the survival rates for triple negative breast cancer, it very much depends on whether we're talking about early triple negative breast cancer or metastatic triple negative breast cancer. In early disease, our goal is cure. We're trying to reduce the risk of a recurrence of breast cancer. It really depends on whether we get no cancer cells when a woman comes to have her operation after neoadjuvant chemotherapy and immunotherapy. If there are no cancer cells left at operation, there's more than 90% chance that woman will be alive and free, free of cancer at 10 years. The story is different if there are cancer cells left at surgery, outcomes are not quite as good, but we can add things at that point to sort of get the numbers up in that woman's favour. In the metastatic triple negative breast cancer situation, unfortunately that's an incurable disease. We can't eradicate all the cancer cells in that setting, but we can certainly help women live longer, delay the time to when cancer cells start to grow, and improve quality of life and minimise side effects of our treatments. But unfortunately, the median overall survival is still around one and a half or two years. We're looking at combinations of new drugs with traditional medication to help that work better against triple negative breast cancer. So that's a really exciting space because we're really bringing the bench to clinical practice and bringing these exciting new drugs from the lab to test if they're effective and safe 
in the clinic.